Good morning. It's another Sunday here in my house. Another Sunday filled with me staying in pajamas and just getting things done. Um, I'm feeling very anxious. Um, I don't know why, so I'm just like trying to do things that calm, are going to calm me down. Um, right now, I'm making myself tea. It's 12.20. I've already had coffee and breakfast and I just don't really want to be anxious oh my god this light sorry whoa my hair was straight yesterday but I went out last night oh my god the lighting in here Jesus okay so I went out last night to Diker Heights with um the guy I'm seeing and his friends and we went to go see the Christmas lights if you're not from New York if you're not from Brooklyn um Diker Heights is a neighborhood in Brooklyn that does like a sick Christmas light show every year and um it's been like a tradition for like years and years and people from like all over the city come to walk around and see the christmas lights um people go like really hardcore there was like tons of policemen like directing people it was wild um some people there had some people at their houses had like hot chocolate stands there was like an ice cream man that was selling like soup and ice cream and hot dogs and coffee and all that fun stuff so oh no uh that's a little better, the lighting. I still have like a pimple that I'm not too fond of. But yeah, so like my, it was really hot last night. Like it was like 50 degrees and it just wasn't, I guess my hair just wanted to frizz up and then I slept on it and this is what it looks like. So you know what, I'm rolling with it. I'm gonna have some winter wake up tea from Trader Joe's. Um, it smells really good. It's black tea blend with cinnamon and ginger gonna set you down Ooh. oh my god look I'm a youtuber so I'm just I just brewed it um, and then I just want tea instead of coffee because obviously I'm like an anxious mess oh it comes so cute like that um, I have a lot to do today as per usual I was off on Friday and had to a lot to do on Friday. I had a lot to do yesterday. It was just why is this like tea bag not sinking in? Um, so I'm just gonna do some blogging. I have some writing to do. Um, a few subscription box um, reviews because I'm part of like some like subscription review company, and I get. Um, subscription boxes sent to me for free and I write reviews on them so I'll leave the link to that down below I'm making the potato soup like I did last week because it came out so good I'll probably make the cheesy chicken and rice again as well um, trying to get trying to like lose at least a few pounds before Christmas next week Christmas is in nine days eight days really if you I really count Christmas Eve as like Christmas because that's like the day so that's coming up so I'm just brewing my tea in my uh, cozy AF mug from influence collect influence her from Influence Her Collective, which is the blogging network I'm part of. It's owned by Her Campus. Um, the dog downstairs is barking and has been barking for like, what feels like a, an hour, but it's probably only been like 20 minutes. And yeah, I want to try to film a plan with me video. If I don't do that today, I'll do it eventually before Christmas because it's a New Year's Eve plan with me with my New Year's Eve kit that I showed you in the last video so yeah let's see how this tastes 
Ooh, that's good tea. So yeah, I will... Oh my god, this is horrible. The lighting is terrible, I look so bad. My hair doesn't look this bad in person. I might have to curl it later because I can't leave it like this mess. So yeah, I will... I apologize for the lighting, it's terrible. I will check in with you a little later. Hi, welcome back. I just got home from work. I am like a mess. This shirt I'm realizing is like way too big on me and I think it needs to be thrown out. Um, I'm like truly a mess. So I got a lot of stuff in the mail today so I wanted to unbox it. So the first thing I got, so let me start off by saying these were things that like I didn't need but I never need them. And <coughs> I started the vlog, yeah, I think you're also crooked because you're on, you're like propped up on, yeah, you're still crooked. It's like, you're on like Christmas. Oh my God, this is so not, so not professional. That's better. You're not crooked anymore. You're not even surfaced. So let me start over. I just got back from work. I'm a mess. The shirt's too big. This angle is horrific. I'm watching Gilmore Girls. I'm waiting for my family to come home so I can cook dinner and I'm going to unbox some stuff with you. I didn't vlog yesterday. I did that one part that you saw before this and then it was just a total, it was downhill from there. I'm trying to like lean in so I don't look like I have four chins. So first things first, my skin has been freaking out. Um, nothing is working, like nothing. Um, and the only like lip stuff that works for me right now is Vaseline and Aquaphor. And those are not like the most, I want something a little fancier, obviously. So I ordered more bomb.com from Glossier. This time I got the original. I in the past have had cherry, coconut, mint. I've had every flavor except the original. Right now I have birthday cake which I love but I just wanted something plain. Um, and it's not, which I, I don't think I realized it until I hold it in my hand right now that it's universal so it can be used anywhere so it'll be nice to have a regular one not scented or flavored and no glitter because birthday cake has glitter and I got my little Glossier pouch which I love because I love to travel with them this is from I hope I didn't show you my I was like I don't know what I was doing I was on line obviously on my phone and I saw this and I, I saw this company called bloom and it says, fighting the patriarch patriarchy is exhausting. So is PMS. Don't let cramps cramp your style. So this is the Cloud 9 oil. It says, hi, nice to meet you. Wear bloom and we go with your flow. How to use Cloud 9. Apply to abdomen, wrists, or chest in circular motions five to ten times. Let it work. It's magic. So this is what it is. It is basically an oil to help with your cramps. Now, oh, this is so cool. So this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And then it's just a regular oil. You can see that it's like really jam-packed, like with oil. I don't want to put it on right now. It says pre-blended with Jehovah oil to roll on smoothly for external use only. It's cruelty-free, vegan, made in the USA. This is kind of, this is something so stupid, but it's going to annoy me. It, the label is not, like, even, but whatever. So, I get really bad cramps, um, like, debilitating. So, I'm excited to use this. And I will let you know how I like it, if it works, or if it's a gimmick. But I love a good gimmick. So, it doesn't really matter. Then, I thought I got one more thing. Oh, I did. From the motherland. I was at the gym. I was watching YouTube videos. 
and I was like, you know what? I really want a frivolous Sephora order. I've been, I wanted to try. Oh, oh damn. Oh my God, I got all of these samples. Okay, so I've wanted to try um, Milk has extended their Kush line and I saw Refinery29 post a review, or I think it was, yeah, it was a Refinery29 about Milk's new Kush lip balm. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's Milk, so obviously it's like super trendy. And then this is what the lip balm looks like. It's very heavy, which I'm I'm into, and it's Green Dragon, and it is formulated with cannabis. So it says, stash this soothing balm to instantly hydrate lips with hemp-derived cannabis oil. I'm. It has cannabis oil, sage oil, peppermint oil, mor moringa butter, and that's that. So this is what it looks like. It has like a peppermint cannabis smell, which is always welcome. So, ooh, it's magnetic closure. Love that. So I will definitely try this out as well. I know that I like like the Glossier, but we'll see how this goes too. Um, because I've I've been wanting I've been not been wanting to try because it it's brand new. It came out last week, but the review was glowing and it was like perfect for what I needed for. Like nothing else works. So we'll try that. Then I was watching Samantha Ravendell do her December favorites, and I've been watching to try this for since it came out. And finally, I was like, you know what? F it. Like I'm gonna order this. This was cheap. I think it was like twelve dollars. I don't think it was more than that. I could check. Oh, it doesn't have the price on here. Whatever. So I got. She was okay. Let me step back a minute. Brianna, calm down. Samantha was going on and on about how much she loved the Fenty Gloss in Fussy. I think that's what it was. So finally I was like, you know what, just bite the bullet. Everybody loves this gloss. I've never heard one thing bad about this. So I got the Fenty Beauty Universal um, Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow, which is the original. Fussy was too pink for me and Diamond Milk I just have absolutely no use for. Love that. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It has like a cakey scent. Nice shimmer. It is sticky. But I can deal with it. I like the applicator. It's nice and big. So we'll see about that. It smells like cake. Yeah, I think that's what it smells like. I can definitely feel it on my lips though, which I'm not a fan of. Then I got, as a free sample, I got BB Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder Dry Shampoo. I've never used it, but I can never get enough dry shampoo. Then I got two Belief True, bom True Cream Bombs. Paracone, which I don't think I asked for these, so I'll probably just throw them out. And then as my 100 point perk, I got Flower Bomb. I thought it was a decent size spray, and I, is it a spray? Oh yeah, I love Flower Bomb. I've never had it, my sister has had it before, so this is a decent size spray bottle, so why not? So that's that, and then I have one more thing. I have shown you before, some clothes from the BB collection, BBX collection, which I'm part of, I'm an ambassador for, so I'll leave the link down below, and then if you could use the code, I think it's Brianna15 for 15% off. If it's not Brianna15, it's Brianna10 for 10% off, but I'll, I'll look. So I got my holiday shirt. She sent uh, all the ambassadors shirt and it says Santa's favorite brunette and I got it in white with rose gold glitter and I'm super pumped about it and I will be wearing it all for the next week until Christmas because it is December 17th so this will be nice I I'm like a medium large in these types of shirts but for these shirts because I like them 
to be a little baggier, I get an extra large. So, um, I think that's it. We can open the advent calendar together. So, my Sugarfina advent calendar, which I've been loving. Um, so I'll open that with you right now. And this advent calendar has kind of made me realize that, like, I like, I know what Sugarfina candies I like. Um, so I haven't been crazy about a lot of them, but they're good. So today's the 17th. Ah. Oh, what's these? Oh, the pineapples. See, like, I don't like the pineapple. Parisian pineapples. From Paris with love, these darling baby pineapples are made with fresh fruit for all natural tropical treats. Eh, I'm not crazy. I leave it in my little candy bowl, as you can see. I have a bunch I have a bunch of them, along with some candy canes. And then, I don't know if I mentioned this book. I have been posting about it on my social media, but it's the autobiography of Santa Claus. I saw it in Jen from Pretty Neat Living's like, gift guide or something. And it's basically as if Santa was telling you his autobiography. And it is just the cutest book filled with so many historical facts. It's like the best thing to read at Christmas. I'm only basically like more than halfway done with it. I'll finish it if not tonight, like this week. And I just think it looks so pretty on like with your Christmas decor. My little coffee table. So I highly, highly recommend that. Um, I got it off of Amazon for like less than $15 so that was a good score so um I will talk to you later